10 miles up the coast in the town of Conwy, Drew Pritchard runs his showroom full of rare and curious antiques. And today, he's meeting restorers Michael and Maria Start, who have rare and curious skills. So I found an incredible item, and that gives me the opportunity to work with a couple that I've wanted to work with for years. We know of Drew by reputation. He deals in the sort of antiques we really like, the quirky pieces. Michael, hi, how are you doing? Hi, Drew. Drew. Hi. Maria? Hello. Drew, hi, how are you? Hi, Drew. Right, what do you think Whoa. of this chap? Yes. You've what a, a handsome devil. There. Isn't he wonderful? Bought it for £2,000 in its Sorry. current state with a box of bits. And I love it. I think it's a wonderful thing. Really, over to you. Well, he's French. OK. He's about 1890. Made by Roulet and de Comp, a family firm in the Marais district yes, of Paris. Yes, these feet and hands are definite Roulet and de Comp. Is that a good thing? That's a great thing. Brilliant thing, The best really. makers, wonderful. And this is a very rare, large size drumming bear. Now, he's got a really big clockwork motor, I can tell, and... Oh, Sounds that's, nice. That's fine, isn't it? Yeah. And that's a good sign. We it, haven't done this, so we don't know what it does. Didn't want to break yeah. it. Very sensible. But I think very if we push sign. this down, we'll know... Yes. Oh, my God, look <laughs> at that. We've got some life. So there's nothing happening here. I can hear it missing. It's yeah. missing something, isn't and it? That's because you've got these brakes. From the mid-1800s, the Parisian firm of Roulet and Decomp made complex and lifelike automata, moving mechanical figures which were expensive to buy then and are highly collectible today. This bear dates from the 1880s and would have been used as an after-dinner amusement. Originally covered in real fur, its party trick was beating a drum. But the arms are broken and the drum is missing, and there are other problems. This fiberglass coating is, is an amazing error by whoever tried to restore him before. Can you get it off? Well... We'll have a good go. It... We'll have to peel it like an egg. Would you put another layer of papier mache over the top of it? Yeah, would you it... just do that to strengthen it? It will it need it, I'm sure. When, the, when this fiberglass comes off, it's going to leave big dents. And usually for me, I want him correctly and fully restored. That's good. Because I do think that is the value in the piece. Yeah. So, we have the fur which is the original, oh, I'm assuming. Um, now... Oh, that's the head. Yeah. Oh, good, you've still got this. That's really nice, cos we'll use this oh, as a Oh, wow, pattern. look at that, you've just come alive. <laughs> wow, look at that. It's so good that yeah. I wouldn't want to do it. See, look at that, the minute you do that... Yeah, it comes alive. comes yeah. alive. Yeah. And it's the age of this piece of look fabric that's that. always been on there, and the way they've shaved it to make I, it... Th th this, has to be, this has to be kept. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be guided by you, but I don't want to put any new fur on this. Thank you very yeah. much. Well, Brilliant. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. This project feels really exciting. It's just not often that we'd be able to get our hands on a, something so rare as this. A few days later, back in their workshop in Forres in the north of Scotland, Michael and Maria take charge of the bear. He's going to tap out a really nice tune if we get this right. And if we get it wrong, it's going to sound awful. Their first job is to take the bear to bits. Well, these don't feel like they've been apart in a long time. It's really exciting, yeah, because you can discover all kinds of things. There we go. Look, Maria, here's the original glue. Yeah, so that's over to you now. Oh, you? great. Yeah. While Michael makes a start on the mechanics, Maria has to chip off the fibreglass coating that's been painted over the original papier-mâché. It's, it's coming off really nicely. Like peeling skin when you've been on holiday. Nice when you get a big thing. Yeah. This feels a bit more like car mechanics than automata, because he's such a big bear and the components are actually quite large. In its time, this bear was a technical marvel. The sophisticated mechanics involve a series of interlinked levers and star-shaped disc cams, which predetermine the function and range of animation. 
It's <laughs> there. Wow, look, look at, at that. that. It's like a robot. Yeah, yeah and a skeleton. Oh, it's beautiful. Isn't it? The different thicknesses and heights of these star points will give it its tune. But Maria and Michael will have to use all their skills if this broken bear is to drum again. On the North Scottish coast, in the town of Forres, Michael and Maria Start are restoring an automated drumming bear for dealer Drew Pritchard. Maria has scraped the fiberglass off the bear's torso and is preparing to replace it with layers of papier-mâché. So I'm making my secret recipe of papier-mâché glue, which is water, a well-known product that helps wallpaper stay on the walls, a bit of salt to stop the bugs eating it, and then a secret ingredient, which um, I can't tell you about, because it's my secret ingredient. I love the automata are made out of papier-mâché. If it breaks, it's easy to mend, and it's cheap. While Maria restores the body, Michael is going to mend the bear's arms. A connecting lever has snapped in two. It's important to preserve this part because it's quite a beautifully made compound lever. To save the compound lever, He'll drill a hole in the break point and insert a short metal rod. Steady. So here I've mounted an arm lever into the lathe here, and that spins nicely. I'll bring up my drill. Lock in position. He can drill it only once. If he gets it wrong, this original piece of 19th century engineering will have to be scrapped you need to concentrate. I'm really aware, as soon as something starts to go wrong, it all feels very nice to me. There, something went wrong. We start to get a bit of a squeak. OK, that's good. And here we have the hole ready for the new square to be fitted in the end. The new part is mended, which should mean the bear's arms can drum again. Here we go. There, we have drumming. <laughs> we have Brilliant. drumming. In Scotland, Maria and Michael are making headway with the 19th century drumming bear automaton. I like him like this. I like the <laughs> naked bear. The bear bear. The bear came with a box containing its original fur covering. And have you got the head? Dealer Drew wanted this reused, but Michael and Maria are having their doubts. Insects have had their way in there, and there's lots of little black dots, which must be the eggs. Luckily, they have a plan B, an old fur coat. Oh, it's nice. Big pieces. And, and very similar to what they would have used originally. So that's our leg. OK. And have, have we got the grain going the right way? Yeah, yeah. Excellent. To see if this fur is a good match for the old, Maria is going to do a test piece on one of the legs. Vintage fur could be the best option to restore this bear, despite Drew's request to use the original. Oh, look at that. What we've got now is not a wooden leg, but an animal. There's a bear coming along. Michael and Maria will have to hope that Drew is happy with it too. Three weeks after they took charge of the broken drumming bear, restorers Michael and Maria have returned to Conway to hand it back to dealer Drew. We really did our best. We had to make a decision about the fur. So, fingers crossed. Hi, guys. How you doing? Hi, nice to see you again. Hello. Right, then, what have we got for me? This bear? Can we have a Wait look? Wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that... <laughs> Remember his fabulous feet. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, that looks a bit different, doesn't it? 
It's great. It's great. He is slightly terrifying. You've got the face really good. And look, you see what you're doing. You oh. see, you keep touching him. Obviously, you've not kept the original. I really wanted to keep the original. Was it impossible? I really tried. It was impossible. It's an old fur coat. OK. All right, I'm trying to remember how all this worked then. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love that so much. When Drew bought this automaton, it didn't work and had been badly restored. The antique body was covered in a layer of modern fiberglass, and the rabbit fur coat was moth eaten and in bits. The bear's arms were broken and the drum was missing. Maria rebuilt the papier mache body and used a vintage coat to give the bear its fur once more. Michael restored the original components, calibrated the correct drumming and head actions, and sourced an old 19th century toy drum. What do you think it's worth in your world well, of dealing in this sort of thing? They made relatively few of these drumming bears. If you want one of these, this is the only one you're ever going to find. Is there no others for sale? No, no. others, no. no. How many are left? Well, wow. we've seen in pictures three. Three, God. So we're looking at ten thousand plus. Yeah. 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 It's what I hoped it would look like when it was finished. In fact, it's a little better. So yeah, wonderful. Thank you very much. Marvelous. Brilliant. Thank you. Thanks, Thank you, mate. I think as soon as he hit the button on the bear and the bear started drumming out... And he, then looking yeah, at him. Yeah, I think <laughs> he realised he's made a, a good friend there. <laughs> Certain things have uh, another level of magic to them, and this bear definitely has that. It, 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 it's an exceptional piece. 